In recent years, residents of America's most heavily policed neighborhoods have described their local police as an occupying force. Considering where many U.S. police forces get their training, the description is apt. Thousands of American law enforcement officers frequently train with one of the few countries where policing and militarism are even more deeply intertwined than they are here. Israel Founded amid a campaign of ethnic cleansing in 1948, Israel then seized the West Bank and Gaza in 1967 and has since maintained an oppressive military occupation. After 9-11, Israel seized on its decades-long experience as an occupying force to brand itself as a world leader in the security and surveillance industry. Since 2002, the Anti-Defamation League, the American Jewish Committee's Project Interchange, and the Jewish Institute for National Security Affairs, pro-Israel groups closely associated with APEC, the Israel Lobby, have paid for U.S. police to train in Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories with the Jewish state's security forces. Now, the training of U.S. police by Israeli forces is widespread, and many of these trips are taxpayer-funded. On these trips, U.S. police are exposed to military policing that happens in a non-democratic context, such as border control, checkpoints, and policing of Palestinians in the occupied territories, essentially taking lessons to enforce military rule rather than civil law. The problem with this mingling of domestic policing with military operations is that the two institutions have starkly different missions. U.S. police officers are charged with keeping the peace and protecting the constitutional rights of American citizens and residents. Soldiers are trained to annihilate the enemy.